Hey there, horror movie tea sippers. The following podcast will contain spoilers for the movie we are about to review. If you have not seen the movie and do not wish to have anything ruined prematurely, then please do not continue to listen until after you have seen the movie. And welcome to the Horror Movie Tea Podcast. Today, we are covering Slender Man, which was a listener request. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> you will uh, soon find out why Jess sounds very spiteful right now. But first, first do the tea. So we are addicted to the Screamsicle tea, and I decided to put mine... In a Mario cup, like normally it's just like Mario and then it's red in the background. So the heat like makes the background pop up. So I thought that nice. was pretty cool. But um, I actually fancy mugs. I'm over here with just like a regular everyday mug over here. <laughs> Getting um, all extra with your mugs. Well, I, I went extra with the tea too. So um, I have an actual tea maker where you can set the temperature, set the brewing a uh, time and it has a little basket that goes down. But anyways, I tried it this time and even the smell of it so far, like it smells even better if that's even freaking possible. So I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've just got my little cheapy infuser here. <laughs> this is fine. That's fine. I never paid for my tea maker. I got it for Christmas, so... <laughs> Well, <laughs> anyway, Slender Man. On to the movie. Yes. So this movie is, there's a good number of Slender Man movies out now. And this is specifically the one that was released in 2018. And the... This is, I want to say this is the only one, though, that claims to be truly a Slender Man movie. The others were called something else. Well, like, for instance, uh, Marble Hornets, they clearly have Slender Man, but they just call it the Marble Hornets movie rather than... Um, yeah. Yeah. And there's some other ones, too, like the Tall Man. and But yeah. uh, I know there's a, a few other, like, actual Slender Man movies rather than them, like, deviating from the, the creepypasta. Yeah. But anyways, so... Oh, I can't. Ah. Anyways, so, <laughs> so this movie, they watch a haunted internet video, which essentially summons Slender Man, and essentially you have two choices. Either you go crazy from the video, or you get taken and you disappear. And so, Or suicide. Yes. They did mention self-mutilation and suicide. Thank you. Um, Usually stemming from the insanity. Yeah, so this group of friends watches this internet video, and um, their friend Katie disappears shortly after watching it, and all of the other friends start s seeing stuff, and it kind of goes down the rabbit hole, but uh, all of the friends, well, I guess Chloe, they didn't really specify what happened to her but she more than likely went crazy but everyone else uh disappeared yeah by the end of the movie <sighs> but yeah a super simple premise and let's get down to ripping this movie a new one <laughs> so entertainment scale uh do you want to go first or do you want me to go first i give it a three yeah. That's fairly generous, honestly, but it it's a three. It was kind of crappy. It was it was mostly boring. The things that were supposed to be spoopy weren't even that spoopy. We were just waiting for the movie to be over. We were just bored. I almost fell asleep multiple times. <laughs> the characters are bland and fairly interchangeable. We didn't even realize who was missing at first. So we had to like pull up the character list and be like, wait, which one is this? <laughs> Yeah. Like, we don't care about the characters. They don't dig into the lore at all. It's just blah. Yeah, I would... I mean, we've seen worse movies 
Yeah. It's hard to think of any right now, but we've seen worse movies. <laughs> Maybe The Ascent. But <laughs> this one is just... It fades into the background so easily. Yeah. So easily. Yeah, I would say I would give this movie a three, two. And I kind of had this epiphany as I was watching this movie. Well, first of all, those familiar with Slender, the Slender Man lore, there is no haunted video that summons him. And as I was watching the movie, a lot of the scenes, it looks like they pretty much copied and pasted from the American ring. And so, okay, so like, for instance, in the ring, it, the whole movie is them investigating what's going on. And then there's little bits and pieces of psychological uh, scares. Or, Spoops. Yes. Well, this movie, it's inverted to where the entire movie is pretty much psychological, like spoops. And then just a little bit of investigation here and there. And especially since they don't, they didn't really exercise all of the resources available for the lore. It's just, they just thought of random stuff. It's like, oh, that would be cool. Oh, that would be cool. But it. So much. There's so much available and they didn't use any of it. It seems so random. And yeah, the. Tell them your analogy about what you... <laughs> I thought it was perfect. It fits. It fits. It does. It does. So in the middle of the movie, while we were watching this, and it was going through the psychological stuff, it was really like a bad trip. Instead of, you know, actual scary or anything, we were just sitting here. Why? <laughs> but I used the analogy... Um, you know, when there's you're supposed to read a book and write a report over it in school... It's like someone was supposed to do this report, but they went to the spark notes and only skimmed the spark notes and didn't actually read the spark notes even and then put out a report. Like that's basically what this movie is. Yeah. <laughs> almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, like the the way like, this movie looks extremely washed out, and it's very dark. And they're they're already terrible at having scenes with tension, but then yeah. also having trouble looking or being able to see what you're supposed to be looking at. Yeah. Like, the, the... And they took this what again from The Ring. Because <laughs> The Ring is very washed out, too. But The Ring, they know how to contrast stuff. They had a lot of light, dark, whenever there's blood. That would really stand out. And so it didn't get that it didn't bland. From it. Yeah, it, exactly. It didn't make the movie bland. It just added to the movie, if anything. But this, it definitely took away from the movie. Um, like the characters are bland. The, the whole, st like, it's very slow. Like, like we honestly the didn't. Colors were muted. Yeah, it's like we didn't care whether or not the characters died. Lived. We didn't know who they were. To they were so interchangeable. We didn't know which one was which. Yes. So when one did disappear, we didn't notice that much. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. It we really didn't, and they also couldn't figure out how they wanted Slenderman to look. <laughs> they had like. Four different looks for Slender Man. All of them sucked. <laughs> the CG was awful in this movie. <laughs> like, if you're gonna use CG, then at least spend the money to make it look good, you know? Or take the time to make it look good. This looks like it was cranked out pretty quick. It was like a first or second draft as far as the animation and... Um, and I don't feel like it's really any of the fault of the animators. I feel like this came out when Slender Man was huge. And I feel like they probably were rushed oh, into I, throwing it out, possibly. I want I'm to, hoping sorry, that's the case. I want to cliff notes that it actually, mm -hmm. there's, because I watched a movie reviewer talk about this movie. It actually came out. Like it might, they might have started producing it when Slenderman was big, but but by the time it came out, the Slenderman craze was starting to taper off. So they were actually just riding the last of the wave, 
And um, so I I don't know. I just wanted to comment on that because the yeah. I ha- had watched a movie reviewer also talk about it, and he had a, a comment about that too, how it was kind of very out of place with when it came out. Yeah. And but they had like four different looks for Slender Man. All of them were awful. <laughs> and not well done at all. Like even if they had kept him in the background kind of faded, that would have worked better. <laughs> I mean, they used that a lot in the actual YouTube series Marble Hornets mm-hmm. and it works. And if you like guys you don't necessarily notice him and it's scary as hell when you do. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched Marble Hornets on YouTube, oh, you need to look do. it up. It will give you chills. And it's just yes. it's, at the time it was just college kids that had yeah. put the footage together. They did a really, it's really good really job. It's really well done. And most of the videos are only what, like 5 minutes maybe. Oh, yeah. Some are shorter. There are some that are a little bit longer and kind of slow, but on the whole, most of them are like five-minute videos, and they're very, very subtle with most of what they do, and it's well done. Mm -hmm. For the budget and all, it's really well done. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't have any of the same kind of things in this movie. They didn't have him be very subtle. No. They focused more on them going insane, I guess. We guess the whole movie. They didn't was do like a, a very good trip. job. Uh, like, I mean, it was <laughs> yeah. I think they were trying so to awful. dive into the psychology of the characters and I show them go slowly, think, but it's just. I think that's what they were going. It was for. just kind of nonsense. They skipped like a week, and they made mention of this main character's been having nightmares, and then oh, one of the friends is gone, and <laughs> yeah, was she kidnapped? Did Slenderman take her? Did she run away? They were on a school trip. They don't know. They were in denial. Or at least a couple of them were. One of them immediately went into she was taken by Slenderman. This is a thing. And she was actually the only one to do legitimate research. But we didn't see most of it. And the things that she looked up, there were like five or six different things that she was looking up, like different myths and things, but none of them were Slender Man. Like one was a demon that takes kids, and then another was, I don't know, the Pied Piper was one of them that came up, and then just random different things that came mm-hmm. up that had like nothing to do with Slender Man. And see, that's... And it settled on like bioelectromagnetic being or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it said supernatural. Like they, they zoned in on certain words, but that's about it. Yeah. And then she starts having a psychotic episode in the library. And we're supposed to take that as that's what this is. Well, and then plus, like showing the, the history of the creature, that is such a huge cliche. Uh-huh. And plus, we all know that that Slender Man is a creepypasta so they could have just showed like the origins of that creepypasta and been like oh well there's been rumors like you know before that that this creature might have existed you know they could have established it as a real being but you know research the creepypasta rather than like oh look this is probably Slender Man even though it didn't even look anything like him. Nothing like him. Ugh. In one, they they made it look almost like his head was wrapped, almost like a mummy. Mm-hmm. And then in another, it was almost like one of those onesie kind of, like, all over bodysuit kind of things. Yeah. And then in another one, it was, like, full CG and horribly. And then, like, pick one. Yeah, I... Just pick one. Pick one and stick with it. <laughs> Like, this movie was a freaking mess. I, I don't know the history behind this movie. Maybe there were so many different rendi Because I know that happens sometimes. Sometimes they're passed between directors and producers, and it just causes the movie to become uh, jumbled. I know f- those who are aware of not the Pixar Finding Nemo, but the Finding Nemo that came out, I think, is in the 70s or 80s. But anyways, like, that movie was a jumbled mess, and it was because... Um, I've never even heard of that one. Oh, it, it's 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 <laughs> something. But anyways, uh, but it's it had a long history of being passed to different people. 
Um, and I kind of have a feeling that this movie, maybe, I mean, honestly, maybe. it would no, be a good excuse. We're not sure. Yeah. But if it was one director and it didn't change hands at all and they, it was them that created this dumpster fire. <laughs> um, it was <laughs> bad. It was bad. It wasn't realistic at all. It didn't make any sense. It was a jumbled mess. Now that I think Just about a it, land jumbled mess. <laughs> so. um, did we look up the director at all to see what other movies he's made? Uh, no, but it shows it was directed by Sil or Sylvan White. Yeah, I'm... or Sylvain White. S y l v a i n White. Yeah, I'm taking a look. Written see. by David Burke. The... Okay, so he's done quite a bit of other movies, but like he did the the newest Hawaii uh, blah, <laughs> Hawaii Five O. There's a 2017 Lethal Weapon, apparently. Uh, Rush Hour, 2016 Sleepy Hollow. I'm seeing a lot of TV shows. But anyway, the, they definitely seem to be a lot more action-oriented. So I wonder if this was... This might have been his attempt at horror. Yeah. Oh, and in 2006, he did the I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. I think is either the sequel or the, the third movie for I Know like What You Did Last Summer. Third or fourth, yeah. So, yeah, because the second one was I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Yeah, so this isn't his first rodeo. I don't, I don't know what happened. If anyone knows, I would be curious because I feel like some books. something must have happened in the background for this movie to be such a jumbled mess. Or he, or he got paid to make it and he just didn't care about it and he was just like, oh, I'll just throw something together. Maybe he just didn't have the passion for the movie. Maybe because it's there. I don't see any passion in it. It's so bland. So bland. It felt like they weren't really trying. Yeah, it, it's stuff that you've seen. Like I said, like if you guys watch The Ring and then watch this movie, you'll see. Like I've watched The Ring so many times, so I just automatically know whenever movies are ripping it's off of it. Like a huge knockoff. Of but it, yeah, like huge influence. But and then like the the creature backgrounds like so many cliches and then the fact that the characters aren't memorable at all, you're like oh two brunettes redhead, and just in minority front. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. how we were. That's the only way we could remember who they were. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, like they had almost no personality. <laughs> yeah, in the movie, which is. Yeah, it's, it's sad. Like the only thing that the only friend that stuck out was Ren, but it's because she is the one doing all the research and she is freaking out the most. Like yeah. I, she is freak out friend to me. Like, <laughs> well, she's also been in a few other things that we've seen, and yeah, she's been fairly conjuring. good in those. So it's easier for us to recognize her. <laughs> Whereas the other ones, we have no <laughs> idea who they are or if they've been in anything else. Yeah. The parents were fairly absent. The love interest was... Eh. Eh. I yeah. mean, he was there, and then it was like... They had one of the most awkward scenes ever. <laughs> Just, I felt kind of bad for the guy. <laughs> like, how traumatizing would it be for a guy to be like... She's kind of freaking out a little bit, and then stop the, the make out, whatever. And he's like, come here. Like, look at me. And then she looks at him and starts screaming. So, I mean. <laughs> My acne's not that bad. <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> women go through changes during that time. Men do, too. So, I mean, they got self-esteem issues as well <laughs> during puberty. Like, mm. that would be fairly traumatizing, <laughs> I imagine. He was pretty sweet with her and understanding. He seemed very sweet and understanding. She was stupid. And made him swear not to watch the thing. Don't do the thing, she says to a teenage boy. So you did the thing. <laughs> um, it made you scream in his face when y'all were trying to make out. So he's definitely doing the thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a given. 
he found the video. He's going to do the thing. <laughs> yeah, so. so uh, just, shall thanks, I, Kristen. <laughs> yeah. Shall we move on to realism? <laughs> I think we kind of like smashed it together, honestly. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, so realism, I'd give it. I don't know. I want to. Yeah, I feel like a two. Two or three. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they would have. The biggest thing that sticks out in my mind is the when the first girl goes missing on the school trip. They all stayed there at the location. Cops were called. Um, it looked like they were most likely going to question them and everything. They had them stay on the bus. Um, and they were looking around and all. There were flyers printed out for her, which does make sense. And posts on social media and all, and they're texting back and forth. I feel like there would have been a lot more, like, reporters and everything going after them. Yeah. And um, police questioning them multiple times. They said they took her laptop. But then they find, I don't know if she had a second laptop or not. They went into the missing girl's room and found another one. Oh, and then talking about more thorough. Okay, one thing on the realism scale that this is relevant to is they know the passwords to every single laptop. Everyone, everyone's computer. You can just go onto your friend's computer. You can go onto your little sister's computer, and you just know everyone's password. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, It's like why even have a password to type? Yeah, Yeah, they could have just opened up the laptop and and side note yes um for those that may have noticed amy does she is currently in the cone of shame she has a little little hurt on her paw her back paw so we're trying to to make her leave it alone (laughs) while it heals it's nothing major or anything it's just a little little bitty thing we're just keeping it on her for the weekend but Aww. She is not very pleased, but she has been getting lots of lovins and lots of goodies. So she is displeased, but is accepting for now. <laughs> and we'll be back to her usual sassy scheduled program <laughs> come <laughs> the week. Uh, so long as her paw is, is doing okay. Yeah. We're going to check it later. We've been checking it periodically, but it's doing okay so far. (laughs) (sighs) But I don't really have a whole... Oh, well, okay, I guess I will make the comment. Like, the the one thing that I did like about... Like, I wouldn't go so far as to say this was great, but the highlight of the movie... Was when the friend Chloe, which is the the sec- second friend to be really affected by Slenderman, um, she gets a video call and she answers it and she sees that it's yeah. footage of Slenderman standing outside. I mean, all you see is like his his view. You see her house. Yeah. And when she goes to the window to look outside. On the video that she's looking at, that she's video chatting with, you see her looking out the window. Mm-hmm. And that, she doesn't see that anything. That was creepy. Yeah. Yeah. And then... That was fairly creepy. That was, that was like, the only halfway decent spoop. <laughs> yeah. And then watching him, like, go through the house. And so, like, he didn't you know, even open the door. He went through the door. Like, that was... that. I'll give it that. that it it could have been scarier. Especially whenever he actually makes it up to her. Yeah. I feel like they could have done that better. But apparently the movie really liked it because they did it for a second time. So they were proud of themselves, I guess. Yeah, and that, that kind of... The second time around wasn't that. Yeah, I, it's I like, feel like they could have done more with it with Chloe. But then you don't... You see her one other time after that. And that was when she's staring at the window like a zombie. <laughs> yeah, it's like, don't repeat your scares. Make every scare unique so that way it's fresh in the viewer's mind. Because if you do the same scare over and over... It becomes boring. Yep. I mean, it's just like... Sorry, the the, the ring is just in my head, I guess. Because 
Uh, I mean, we did recently watch huge Rangu. Fan. Um, You're a huge fan. That's one of your favorites. Yeah, I know. but like the ring. People die the exact same way, but the movie only reveals a certain moment. And then as the movie goes on, it reveals more and more how the people die. So that's an example of, oh, you can have your characters die the same way, but the way that they filmed it, the way that they revealed it to the viewer, it still makes it very interesting. But if, so it's like, if they wanted everyone to die the exact same way, that's fine, but don't show us how the first person died from that, only to do it, repeat the same thing. So, but it's like, I, I tend to prefer the movies that have the, the, the unique scares, but you can pull it off having your characters die the same way. It's just how you do it. Well, I also, I think what really bugs me is like, they tried... You could tell they were really trying to go for a psycholo- or psychological aspect of it. I can't talk today. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> but they don't do it well. I love the movies that have that descent into madness. Yeah. Those are some of my favorite kinds. So to have it be more of a bad trip <laughs> than yeah. anything. Yeah. Not scary or anything. Just kind of weird. Yep. And show us these disjointed things that don't really make sense in context or anything. Boo. <laughs> yep. Just, they could have done so much more with it, especially with like Chloe. Just have her start to be more and more paranoid because of seeing that. Just have it stop right at her door. That like she be- opens the door and sees it and then it goes black. Yes. That would, that be, would so- be super creepy. Yeah. Or have it go fuzzy or something and then yeah. just stop. Yeah. And then have it keep doing random things like that throughout and have her just slowly be driven more and more mad. But mm-hmm. instead they just go right to, well, she's now insane. Yeah. She is now almost catatonic. She's just kind of wandering around like a zombie. Cool. Yeah. So It's just a waste. Like such a waste. <laughs> the only like for very like for horror movie fans like us, I would not recommend this movie unless if you're a huge fan of well, even a, like if you're a huge fan of Slender Man, if this movie's gonna like it's made it worse. It. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I would say this is a good movie for those who are super chicken of horror movies, but still wants to try and get in the genre because this movie is not scary even when it's It's trying it's got a few like creepy moments but it was just like the one scene yeah besides that they do a lot of jump scare type things with like random people's faces and all when like with the the guy she went on a date with for the makeout session yeah. Or when she's walking through the hospital and seeing these weird things. Like. It just kind of. Eh. Eh. Also, I'm sure Alyssa's tired of me saying this, but the people that made this movie have never heard a cicada in their entire goddamn lives. It sounded like a computerized cricket. The noise that they keep making. And yes, I know it's supposed to be a cicada because in their little blurb message thing that they keep pulling up on the computer, they specifically mention cicadas. How they were so loud and then they just stop. Not even close. Yeah. (laughs) Come to Texas. Stand outside for like five minutes. Anytime, anywhere remotely near the summer. You will hear the tree screaming. That's the cicadas. <laughs> so I guess not the trees. It might sound like it's the trees, but it's the cicadas. It does. It sounds like the trees are screaming and it happens every year because, you know, it's so damn hot. And it's the cicadas coming out and making their, you know, screams of the damned. And, <laughs> and they kind of die off after a while. And then we have winter. <laughs> and because our winter, the the like bottom temperature is maybe, maybe in the single digits, and those are extremely rare. Oh yeah, it's more like in the teens, and that's when it's yeah. super cold. 
Yeah, for us. and all of us are complaining. We don't do cold. <laughs> but if it gets down into like the 40s or 30s, we're all like, ew, what is this? <laughs> the cicadas are all gone by then. <laughs> uh, but tell us your thoughts on this movie. Was it. Did you think it was just as bad as we did, or did you sort of enjoy it? And if you did enjoy it, what did you like? Yes. Or if you hated so, it, what did you hate? <laughs> so again, this was requested. Um, she had told me that she had not seen the movie yet and wanted to hear our take on it before. And um, if you if you watched the movie before this, Kristen, I'm sorry. If you waited to watch the movie, please don't do it. <laughs> don't do it to yourself. <laughs> don't do it to yourself. <laughs> there are much better movies that you could spend your time on. Don't waste it on this one. Yeah, after the movie was over, we're like, we just wasted two hours of our lives. So, like, it was not remotely enjoyable gone. at all. No, we were just sitting here the entire time, like, is this over yet? And, like, the media player kept stopping. So, even the media player is like, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Uh. So, don't, don't do it. <sighs> don't. But feel free to to recommend a different movie <laughs> instead of Slenderman. I really hope that you waited <laughs> until this review <laughs> and didn't waste your time on it. But there are other movies that we would be more than willing to watch and review for you. <laughs> so please recommend a different one next time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Only have us review a movie that we want to watch. <laughs> No, we'll watch some other ones. We don't mind ripping some of them to shreds. This one was just boring as all. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very true. So, but that's that's all I got. Yeah. You got anything left? No, I'm I have the tired. words. So, yeah. I'm just tired after this one. This movie was exhausting. It's like, it it's so boring, it was exhausting. Yes, it was boring to the point of draining. Yeah. So... <laughs> We'll see you guys next time. We do have another recommend er, recommendation. So we are going to watch that one and review it. I could not get it um, to work correctly before this one. So I'm sorry, V. We did have to push it back a little bit. But we are getting to it, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so until then, thank you guys for watching or listening. And stay safe and stay spoopy. Bye.